Hello, this is Sir Stillwater. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the next great building in my series. Uh, and this is going to be the Statue of Zeus. So I'm showing a different one of my worlds that I'm in. And this is a uh, early Middle Ages uh, village. And you see I've got a few different great buildings here. I have the Oracle we just talked about in the other video. If you didn't see that yet, there's a video on the Oracle. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and talk about the Zeus. And then we'll work our way over to our uh, TOB, which is the Tower of Babel as well as the LOA, which is the Lighthouse of Alexandria. And those will be coming in future videos, so stay tuned. But today we're going to go ahead and talk about the Zeus, uh, as it's called. I'm going to jump in here, take a look at this. On uh, this place, on uh, this particular building here in this world, I'm uh, level 6, going to level 7. Um, I could basically level right now because I get some coin in the bank. We'll talk about that later. But meanwhile, I come over here and I take a look. I have a level 6, I get 18% attack bonus, which is really, really valuable, especially in these early eras, bronze. Well, actually, in, in all eras, but particularly in these early eras, uh, when it's it, it helps a lot when you're doing attack. Let's say you're doing G, uh, Guild Expedition GE or Guild Battleground, and you've got basically weak early era troops, and they don't usually fare too well. Uh, but if you get some boost, that can kind of help you go a little bit further with what you have, especially in the early eras. Um, it kind of costs time and money to go ahead and retrain troops when they get when they get destroyed in battles. So this helps give a little bit of an edge to that. So that's the big advantage of Zeus. Zeus, unlike some others that have a 24-hour collection cycle, is just a consistent percentage of attack and defense boost. And I'll go speak to that in just a moment here. But you see here, uh, military boost while attacking units gain a certain percentage attack and defense at the current level. At the next level, there's the next step up. In this case, I'm level 6, so it's 18%. Level 7 is 21%. I think they're pretty steady at going 3% for a little while. And then eventually you get to a point where that decreases the amount that you gain per level. But I'll jump over to the, uh, the chart and show that. So, but I want to show you what Zeus looks like here. So let me go ahead and jump over there. Okay, again, I'm over here at the fandom.com, uh, which is forgevampires.fandom.com. I'm in the wiki, and I'm looking at the Zeus. So if you want to follow along or if you want to look in as well, um, you can obviously go here and read all this. I'm not going to read it to you. Uh, but I will go ahead and just kind of highlight through some of the things. Of course, these are all my opinion. Everybody has their own uh, so if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them below. If you get differing opinions, please leave them below. Or better yet, go ahead and uh, create your own videos and share it with the community so everybody can learn. So personally, I like Zeus. Uh, you see Zeus in a lot of worlds, especially when you get even when you get up to the big, huge players. Uh, Zeus is one of those GBs that sticks around. It uh, doesn't take up much room. It's a 2 by 3 which is very small. Uh, relative to most great buildings, to practically any other great building. Uh, a 2 by 3 square is tiny in relation, and it does cost to construct. So it is an aged building. It's a bronze age building, and it requires uh, some goods here. you got 10 stone to place it, uh, 50 lumber, 40 marble, uh, 40 dye, and 10 wine. So all five goods that you have in the Bronze Era, you need to have some stock of in order to place this building, in addition to the nine blueprints uh, that you'll need to go ahead and start it. So um, those you can get through trade, you can get them through construct, you know, making your own, whatever, but there is some cost to place it. There is no production bonus, so basically you just have a passive bonus that's military boost 24-7, it's always there. It is what it is. You level, it just adds to the next level. This is one of the few uh, great buildings where it's just okay to level it for people because there's nothing to collect, so there's no double dipping, and we'll talk about that in some of the other great buildings when we get there. But uh, it just it is what it is. It just gives you a constant boost, and that's its that's its real value. Um, it's a great building. It's it's pretty easy to get. You get a lot of these blueprints real early on. Um, everybody has one. It's easy to get uh, through contributions of other great buildings and so on. So, especially in these early eras, and they're pretty cheap to build. It's it's a Bronze Age building. It's pretty 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 inexpensive. So, the Statue of Zeus, again, it's one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Uh, it's kind of neat. Kind of gives you a little bit of the history. 
Uh, so let's talk about what you get for leveling it. Again, level zero, you don't get anything. It just sits there and takes up space until you get to level one. Level one requires 40 FPs after you've already spent the goods and the blueprints to place it. So you need 40, 40 forge points to go ahead and get it to level one. At that point, you get a 3% military boost, um, attack and defense boost for your uh, troops and then so on so then 60 more will get you to level two and then it'll increase up to six percent and so on is yes, what i talked about earlier you see it goes from three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen so on it goes all the way up until you get to level 10 which gets you your 30 percent boost which is pretty decent um, and it's pretty affordable um, even though you're in bronze it's it, it forge points are a little um little more costly than they would be in later eras but um, but still you got a real good running running pace to get up to a decent amount of boost here um, so even at level 10 510 gets you to level 30 and this is where we start going into the one points uh, so 11 is only gives you one point for another 523 then another 536 will get you no more boost gain but it'll get you ready to the next level uh, where it continues so this is a good building to if you can run it to 10 um, and then by that point you're probably contributing in, in my opinion everybody has their own view of that um, at that point i'll probably be contributing my forge points to something else um, to get some other buildings up off the ground uh, there's, there's a few different camps of great buildings some people don't have any at all some people have they aspire to get them all which i'm in that camp in one of my worlds uh, some people look for just the strategic ones that are specific to the level that they're at. They may they may keep some around for a while and then eventually get rid of them. Some of them uh, like to have certain just a handful of buildings and then take them super high level. There's a lot of different ways to play the great buildings, um, but either way, this is a good one to get. It's it's cheap to get. You can get it early and you can get some really good rewards out of it. Uh, that can really be a uh, force multiplier when you're doing some of the battling aspects of the game. So that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this. Uh, this is the Statue of Zeus. Let's go back over to my other world. Again, Statue of Zeus. Let's show that one more time. Uh, it's a great, great building. Yeah, no pun intended. Um, let's see. Blueprints. Yeah, see, you have the different sets of blueprints that you get. It's kind of cool. So that's it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them below. Um, what's your take on the Zeus or any of these great buildings? Good, and I'd really be interested in to know what you think. So um, if you find these helpful, um, any suggestions you have or anything that you see that I'm missing, uh, please let me know in the comments. Uh, that will help make these uh, better videos for everybody. So uh, thanks very much. Have a good day. Bye.